Hi, this is Keith All, and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the filter function in Microsoft Excel 365. And today we're going to specifically utilize the filter function with just one criteria. Now basically what this is going to do is we're going to look at our data set, which is right here, and we're going to filter on basically selecting a certain department. So what this filter function will do, it's going to look for the department that we're going to select out of this data set and only return those records that match that criteria. Now this is the formula that we're working with and so I'll step through it with you by recreating it. So I'm going to press equal, filter, tab into it to get to the first argument. Now it's asking for the array. Now what this means is where do we want to find this data, uh, this data that we're looking for? And well, actually what we're going to re be returning uh, is this array once we match on a certain criteria. So we're going to select our data set, excluding the headers, comma, brings us to the next argument. Now the next argument is the include. So what this means is since we're going to be filtering on department, we want to be able to include only those records that we select, which is from this cell. And I'll explain that in a second. But anyways, uh, so we would want to, where are we going to find department in this data set? So we're going to select the column where we're going to find our criteria. And then we're going to say equal to, and then we're going to select this cell up here, which has the department that we want to find within this data set, comma. And now the last argument is optional. So what this uh, optional argument is, if it doesn't find any records in this data set or in this array that we selected here, that matches this criteria, uh, we're going to spit out an, uh, a message that we want. In this case, I'm just going to put in no records. Close it off, close out the uh, filter function and press enter. Now, here, um, I just have a drop down list of our unique departments here. And so when I select anything from here as you can see it's gonna go to this data set it's gonna look for this value here in this in case it's operations and return all records in this data set that match uh, the department of operations so if I select any one of these it's gonna match and return that data set as is now I'll give you a uh, uh, let's go back to the formula. If we go up to the formula bar and select only the second argument, uh, which is here. Let's. And what Excel does is the second argument is going to return for you trues and falses. So it's going to ask, okay, does the first row and department equal this? And if it does, it'll return true. If it doesn't, it'll return false. And so it returns a values of trues and falses for that second argument. And then once it finds all the trues, it'll return a true. Another way to do this is copy just the second argument, the uh, which is the formula, control C, and I'm going to paste it over here. Oh, let's escape first. Equal and press enter. As you can see is that second argument is going to evaluate row by row. Okay, and it's going to say, okay, does the, uh, does this argument or does this formula 
equal to reach, search, and development. And as you can see, the first record does not match that criteria. And it continues on through that process row by row, and it returns a value of false, true or false. And in this case, the last three records match the, uh, uh, this value here. So that's another way to uh, look at this second argument and an, another idea for you on how to create formulas for the second argument. Now, this second argument could also be uh, done through, um, instead of looking at one particular cell in this case, we could also hard code it in here by first pressing, put it, your value in uh, double quotes. So in this case, I want, let's say, engineering, and it's not case sensitive. Uh, this value so press enter and it works the same way so if I go back up here and uh, put it in lowercase it's still going to return uh, your value here so hopefully this gives you a better idea on how the filter function works in Excel uh, 365 uh, thank you for stopping by today uh, I'll see you on the next video, which I'll explain further on uh, using the filter function and other tips and tricks using this uh, function. Thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you next time. Bye now.